happy year of the rabbit. The world is full of problems, as we know. There's a war, there's a virus, inequality that's growing, and a new cold war on the lips of some people. So as we ring in the new year, there's nothing more important than a real serious discussion about how to save the world with stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. So, welcome to a special edition of The Point with me, Liu Xin, coming to you from a stand-up comedy club in the middle of Beijing. And I have with me Yu Fu, a Chinese stand-up uh, comedian, Alex Shi, Hello. also 100% Chinese. 100%, 24 characters. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Danny Fan. Right? Yes. Not 100% Chinese. No, 50. 50. <laughs> 50. Okay, that's okay. And uh, <laughs> we have uh, Nora Young joining us from Shanghai as well. Hi. Hi. Hello to everybody. Hi. Hello to everybody. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, the thing with uh, doing a show with uh, stand up comedians is I can save the talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to do waste my time and, and try to introduce everybody. Why don't you introduce yourselves and starting with you, Yifu. Okay, so I'm Fu, so they always call me Uncle Fu because I'm almost 40 years old. Wow. Uh, no, it looks like, but yeah, I, uh, now I'm living in Shanghai uh, for seven years and uh, I started my stand-up comedy uh, like two years ago because I have my own... I haven't home. laughed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got a tough audience today. Okay. Uh -huh. so we, we still need some jokes when we introduce <laughs> ourselves. Okay, you, you, your time is up. Alex. Okay. <laughs> it was a lot of pressure. How do you follow that? Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Alex Shu. Um, I'm not a full-time professional comedian. I actually get really stressed out when people introduce me as a stand-up comedian. Because I started doing that two years ago. And I know other people who have been doing it for a long time. And I hate to be compared. I'm actually I actually work in tech, oh, which is not very likely to guess by the by this appearance. I don't know. Okay, um, I haven't laughed either. <laughs> the, next one. the problem is the setup. <laughs> okay, it's me, I guess. All right, we will hear more about you later, Donny. Yep. Uh, I'm Donny Fan. I'm a, an English uh, stand-up comedian, um, and. Uh, I, uh, people ask me all the time if I'm successful in my life, and I say I do stand-up comedy, and that's enough, I guess, to say uh, no, not at all. We so. have a laugh. There you go. Yeah. 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 The pressure was there. Okay. <laughs> You're You're very about. successful. Yeah, Nora, Nora, your turn. Yay. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, my name is Nora. I'm too happy to be here. Um, I'm a comedian. I do stand up in uh, Mandarin, English, a bit of Chinese and a bit of Japanese. I also work in a startup in branding in the daytime. So that's about me. Wow, that's a lot of information. <laughs> and <laughs> you did in. get us yeah. laughing. Mm -hmm. But uh, tell us a little bit about, about these, you know, strange things that's around you, <laughs> Chinese and English. <laughs> what about them? Yeah. Yeah. You guys had the in behind you, right? So I also want to make it my own. Yeah. Um, so this is what I kind of come up with, right? This is a new year, new star, new goal, and uh, only okay. old habits. Wrong, wrong, wrong side. Yeah. Yeah. The other side. Basically, <laughs> that's, that's... Yeah, it, it kind of just says everything about me and a lot of friends around me. Like we have too much to look forward in the new year and we come up with something sad in the end saying that, oh, I didn't accomplish as much. So my new year resolution this year and hopefully for a lot of you guys is don't expect too much and you could be always happier every day. <laughs> That's, a great, That's a good advice. That's a good one. That's a good one. I never thought about, you know, the, 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 the combination of the, 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 the pronunciation of the word rabbit and, and two, two. Yep. right? That's a very clever use of that. So, I mean, this is, um, honestly, I tell you a secret. I've never Ooh. been to a stand-up comedy show. I know, that's <gasps> embarrassing. I know, oh. everybody gasps. Oh. I'm too busy. I'm too busy trying to fix the, fix the problems of the world by talking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us a little bit for our audiences, right, who don't have the idea of uh, what life is like here in China. How big exactly is stand-up comedy in China? 
Donnie, you start. <laughs> oh, uh, it's it's huge. Stand up comedy, like anybody can participate in stand up comedy in China. Like it's it's so big that there's even opportunities for people like me to become popular. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a good joke. Though. Yeah, that's joke. Thank you. How popular? I mean, it's the uh, I think stand up comedy is probably the most popular medium in China for entertainment right now, especially through the the pandemic and stuff. Uh, I think the pandemic has given everybody the opportunity to. Um, Become stand-up comedians even in their own homes. So people who are live streaming on different apps and uh, the the companies that are producing uh, comedy on television and yeah. television networks. A lot of it can be done just from your home. You don't need a huge studio. You don't need anything but a camera yeah. uh, and a, and a cool little fake background. Not not this. this is <laughs> very real. <laughs> very real background. <laughs> um, it's but it's, it seems to be the the most uh, the most popular medium in China right now for entertainment. Yeah. yeah I mean, definitely. why? Why so? Because uh, stand-up comedy is something that's imported, right?、Mm. I mean, we have our own, which、yes. is crosstalk or xiangsheng,、yeah. which is similar, right? But not exactly the same. So, how would you how would you describe why、uh, an imported entertainment form has just found an audience that's you know so receptive? Any any? Uh, I mean, <laughs> from someone 100% Chinese. Yes,、uh, 100% Chinese, 100% Dongbei.、Um, super proud. <laughs> My observation is that our traditional art form of xiangsheng of cross talking it it includes the single performer a performer style as well, which is called dangkou xiangsheng, like one mouth speaking the talk. In dangkou xiangsheng, it's Well, why is it funny? What is why is it why is it funny? <laughs> She's a great translator. I learn a lot from her. <laughs> Calm down.、Um, in dental xiangsheng, it matters more how you tell the story, how you deliver the story. It matters more what story the audience is getting. But in stand-up comedy, which also comes up in a similar form as one performer on stage telling stories, or even if it's a short joke, it's a story contained in that one joke. But stand-up comedy. Sort of needs a little bit more personality in what you're doing, and I think it's important at the right. It's imported at the right time where more people are probably looking for who they really are, especially younger generation. They really want to know who they are. So when they look out for entertainment,、yeah. they're automatically gravitated towards people who have like. A brand that's part partially themselves,、wow. and they're funny、wow. on stage. So I think that's the timing and the nature of stand-up comedy kind of happened for a reason, and it matches what's going on in our country right now.、So. Wow! Wow! I, I'm, I'm lost. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it gets too we, deep. That's how we make our well, living. Also, I think Danko is like a, a rehearsed script, right? Like there's different、yeah. stories you can tell. It's not individual or or, or unique、yeah. to the、yeah. the person themselves. But but uh, uh, Nora, you wanted to chip in there, right? And you are particularly. It seems that you enjoy great、uh, making fun of your audience members improvisation, <laughs> right? What about that? You know, why why do the audience love that? Oh, I think yeah, I definitely agree with Alex's point.、Um, I think to start with, I think stand up is more personal. So it's like the stories of you and also how you see the world. That's. A lot different from crosstalk because crosstalk a lot of the stories can pass through generations, so it's like old stories and then a lot of new reason reasoning etc. etc. So one of them about stand up comedy is such an individualism thing that kind of showcase who you are and attracts similar people as you. And then the second part is what you mentioned, what we call like crowd working or interacting with the audience. I think that、um, what's funny or what's fascinating about stand up is this is the only probably form of art in the world that it does not exist without an audience. So if you're a dancer, if you're a singer, you can just be there perform. People can still appreciate later on. But stand up, you have to appreciate. You have to, you know, listen to it. You have to be there to enjoy the form of art. And we are not complete. Without our audience, so I love it for that reason, and I truly, truly wish I could、okay. be on stage forever. You know, Nora, we prepared an audience today. Let let the audience. <laughs> 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 we want、wow. an audience. Yeah, that, I know. That's why it's like, yeah. yeah but、uh, Ifu, what happens if people don't laugh at your jokes? I mean, how do you get through that? I don't really care. If they don't laugh, they're their cause, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, for me, I think the、uh, the dang kou xiang sheng is for me is like、uh, if we compare it with kung fu is like a ba、uh, is like a tai chi.、Mm. So 
you need a no po you need to perform in the in the right way. But uh, for stand up comedy, we like boxing or UFC. <laughs> it's more Freestyle. real, yeah. And uh, people will enjoy the boom, 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 boom. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? <laughs> I, I think, I think what, what is, is the boom, 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 boom? I think it's, it's the interaction. It's the energy that we get fed from the audience. Mm. I, could, okay. I could perform the same set of jokes, but okay. if it's a different group of audience who gave me really good feedback and response, All it'll right. turn out completely different. Yeah. The okay. best comedians, when you tell a joke in a different crowd, it's it's going to be a different experience for every crowd and for yourself as the performer, like to that point. So if the audience feels like you're just repeating a joke that you've written and they don't feel like that joke is in the moment, uh, that experience isn't going to be as, as fruitful for them. So An example? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> An example. <laughs> Nora's got the example. Nora's got an it's, example. It's obvious, yeah. Nora, you got... <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I love it. Um, I think I think uh, Liu Lao Shi is just here for free comedy. She's like keeping asking, "Where are the jokes?" You know, I don't know about the joke. You guys perform it right now, okay? Like this is the time to entertain. That, that I love me. that. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but isn't that the kind of pressure you feel on stage? Because people pay to be amused, mm. right? Isn't that a, a pressure and how do you turn it around? Do you just kind of turn the abuse on the audience to, <laughs> so that, you know, you make fun of them, Nora? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it happens all the time. I don't think any comedians can avoid the fact that one day they're going to bomb on stage. Mm. Even the most famous comedians will have to face that. But there were what a lot of ways bomb? to kind of handle... When you bomb on stage means you, people don't laugh. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. World peace, world peace, okay, love it. Uh, <laughs> well, nothing yours. suspicious here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> one of the things you can do is to release the tension. So, for example, a lot of the comedians will come up with, um, oh, nobody's laughing. Well, you're not getting your ticket refund and the people <laughs> might laugh. Or, uh, oh, no one's laughing. Or maybe you're dead and I don't know. You know there, there are a lot of ways that you can handle <laughs> the situation. That's, so, that's real I, bombing, I it's just, right? That's yeah, real bombing. yeah it's, it's, it's real bombing. Bomb. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but what takes with the Chinese audience, what doesn't? I mean, mm. I'm, I'm sure you perform in front of different uh, audiences as well, or do you perform just to an English-speaking audience? Yifu, what is um, your... My, actually, my main part of uh, stand-up comedy is in Chinese. So, yeah? Yeah. So it's a totally different... How do you uh, switch? Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> actually, I have totally different jokes in English and in Chinese. Yeah. I mean, they, okay. their laughing point is not the same. Mm. So, okay, you can test on us today. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first my joke. <laughs> All right, one. I'll pay you later. I'll scan, I'll scan your QR code. <laughs> no, but let me see how good it is, then I'll pay. Yeah, exactly. You gotta see before we buy. <laughs> no, you know, seriously, I mean, people tune into this and, and I want, we want to give them a bit of fun, you know, for the Spring Festival. They paid their ticket, so now you are going to amuse them. Why don't you give it a go, Ifu? Lady first. Oh, Wait. really? Yeah. Whoever. Yeah. Uh, sure. And we're going to use the mic, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't know what was stirring. <laughs> this is, you know, the worst thing about a stand-up comedy competition. <laughs> this is it. I've never, I've never performed with the comic sitting next to me unless I'm roasting them. So this is, this feels uh -oh. well. Should I poke you while you're performing? No, please don't. I, will, I might hit you. So that would be funny. <laughs> it would be funny. See the 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 dangerous thing when you give a stand-up comic a mic is that it'll be hard to take the mic away from them. So this show might run over, just a fair warning beforehand. <laughs> okay. Um, so my name is Alex. Uh, that's not my real name. My real name is Xiaoxuan, or as my American friend said it, the sound of two cars swooshing by each other really fast. Xiaoxuan. <laughs> um, I am uh, from the northeast part of China, the very cold part of China. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always believed that language is the result of a culture, which is the result of the natural elements of, an, of a region. Okay. okay? <clears throat> and Dongbei people, I don't know if you talk to them. I have. My mom is Dongbei as well. Um, Does she know that? 
<laughs> she knows that. You're she knows course. that. And my mom doesn't speak a word of English, but just magically she knows I've been talking about her in my stand-up comedy set. And so she came to me one day and she said, I saw your videos and I know you're talking about me to a whole bunch of people that I don't know. I think that's very disrespectful. I said, mom, it's not disrespectful. It's comedy. Matter of fact, there are people that are making a living talking about their parents on televised national competitions. So I showed my mom the rock and roast TV show. My mom watched that TV show. She got more angry and she said, where's my copyright payment? <laughs> um, but that's not, that's not what I was going to, you know, I was trying to stay away from my mom. I do like to share a little bit about where I come from, which is the northeast part of China, which feels very festive around this time of the year. People from that region were very direct with the way we talk. We were very direct. We don't like to add frills, chit chat. We don't do none of that. We don't do that because it's too cold outside to do that. <laughs> I just want to get to the point and get out of the conversation. I'll give you an example. There are different ways of saying I'm trying to date somebody. You know, I'm looking for a boyfriend. I'm looking for a girlfriend. I am on the market. I'm available. And don't be dialect. I want you to answer this, okay? And don't be dialect. If you're looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend, the action is called. Literal translation, looking for an object. Once you find that person, you start dating, you get into a relationship, your boyfriend and girlfriend, then you begin to... Wow. What is the from Beijing? Beijing. Literal translation, dealing with an object. Which Sorry? Is get, dealing. Dealing with an object. We get straight to the core. There's no fancy romanticizing a relationship. Mm. Once you go through the relationship successfully, you get married, you become married couple, then you start to okay. passing the days. Okay. And you go I thought through. it had something to do with the Dui Xiang again, but yeah. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> going the place that you think we're not going. And then when you go through your whole life and you leave this world. Then you are Mela. 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 <laughs> very, very straightforward to the point. Very straightforward. Um, my mom is one of those people. She believes in the power of language a lot. She could even get over the language hurdle. When I was in high school, a British student, as an exchange student, staying with my family. Very cute, blonde guy, wears glasses, plays the drum, you know, like Beatles. All of that. One day, my parents were driving us back to Tongzhou. We were sitting in the back and we were caught in traffic. I was in the back with, with little Liam, that's his name, having a little moment of our own, you know. I was enjoying that. Mm -hmm. My mom decided to make a chit chat. She was on the passenger seat. And she turned around and she looked at Liam and she goes, Liam, you mean young boy, you have a my mom said, Liam, do you also have traffic jams in the UK? And I was like, oh God, this is so embarrassing, mom. This is, I'm just having a moment. Why do you have to chip in? Why do you have to talk right now? And mom, God, oh God, mom, Liam doesn't speak Chinese. My mom said, don't worry, I got this. She leaned in further and she looked at Liam. She goes, Liam, ah. <laughs> little Liam just sat there like a lost little lamb. He just went, didn't understand what I think my mom should run for the UN. World peace will be attainable with her. If we ability. can't understand each other. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and talk slowly. And yeah. Mom, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> this is this feels very different. This feels even more. This feels a lot more nervous than performing in front of a crowd. The because these are machines, or what? Because the, the chance of somebody laughing at your joke is a lot higher. When you have a crowd. The base number, the sample size is a lot bigger. You know? Okay, okay. Well, sorry for the for the harsh environment, but you Oof. got to do it. <laughs> your turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Fu. Um, so uh, I'm sorry. 
probably because uh, my English is not that great, so my second language is Spanish. And then I used to live in Spain for two years, so uh, I feel it's very hard to live in Spain for a Chinese. Um, for example, I can't, when we first meet, let's say, when we say hello, I say, hi, nice to meet you, my name is Fu. And my friend turned to me and say, hi, nice to meet you, Fu. My name is Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Rebecca. My little dog, Rodriguez. <laughs> I can't even pronounce their name at that time. <laughs> so, it's my first joke. Thank you. <laughs> So I would like to uh, I would like to share. Oh my goodness, is this is so my second joke. <laughs> is the atmosphere so bad that you have to <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, I would like to share one thing uh, when I was in the Madrid air airport. Uh, so uh, it's not the first time I went there, it's the second time. Uh, <laughs> because I have uh, enough time to change flight there, so I, I just sit there and listen. Uh, some someone else in the counter they, they start fighting. And I can hear some Chinese words inside, and, and, and I think it's, it's a Chinese couple there. So I go there, I want to help them, and I say, what happened? A couple say, okay, the things like this, with, uh, they want to go to uh, France to see their daughter. Uh, they changed flight in Madrid, and uh, they, bought, they got the business class, so they have lunch. But they don't know where's the lunch, so they go to the information and ask. But the couple didn't know how to say lunch in English or in Spanish. But the man is very clever. So I think lunch in Chinese is xiu xi shi. So in xiu xi in Chinese is rest and shi is room. Yeah. <laughs> so they, so you see, I ask the information, where's the rest room? So the lady is very polite and says, there it is, sir. <laughs> then they become angry, so. I don't know English, I don't know Spanish, but I can see a man, a woman on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a lounge. So they double check with the uh, information lady. So can we drink, eat, and sleep inside? <laughs> the lady is laughing and saying, yes, you can, but make sure that there's, n <laughs> there's no, no one else in there when you're doing that three things. OK, so <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank it you. It works to pay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can you can you feed yourself doing that? I mean stand up comedy. Can we Can you can you feed yourself? No. You know? I mean not for English comedy. <laughs> this is why people are like people come to English comedy shows and they, they see us and they're like Oh, those are so much fun. You know, like, how often do you perform? Do you perform every day? Are you a full-time stand-up com comedian? Um, I don't know why I have this accent, but <laughs> it's not our audience members. It's thought. not Northeast we accent. We have all it's Karens not. in so, our audience. I don't know. And so they're like, they're like, oh, can you, can you, same question. Like, can you, are you doing this full-time? I said, actually, English comedy barely pays for the beer that I need to drink at <laughs> the performance. That's about it, because... Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's just a very different story with uh, Chinese stand-up comedy at the moment because it is not English. After all, is not an official language yeah, in China, even though in bigger cities there is a pretty big audience. And I think Nora probably has more information on that because I think Nora has more you know uh, frequent shows and mm. people do come to. You will be surprised sometimes. You go to a venue and it's just all uh, Chinese audience members, and they, it could be a good show as well. So it's not like. For English shows. Yeah, English yeah, yeah. Ones. It's not like pe what people think, oh, it's just like a whole bunch of foreigners coming uh -huh, to the shows, uh -huh. no Chinese people. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So, yeah. We call it English Corner. Sorry, English Corner. <laughs> so that's where people go and uh, <laughs> practice, learn, practice, practice English. Listening, yeah. <laughs> and learn English. All right. Donnie, you make a living with uh, shows? <clears throat> it is uh, a platform, a platform to do more things for me. So when I started doing stand-up comedy, uh, I'm a writer, I'm a screenwriter, uh, I, I want to, to direct bigger bigger projects. Um, so stand-up comedy uh, might not get me money in my pocket uh, immediately, but the opportunities I've had to do other things and to do some theater work and some film work all, all comes from the credibility of being able to perform on stage and people seeing me. So uh, I'd say that you no, know, an individual show won't make a living for me, but stand-up comedy has given me the avenues to, to do that. Such a positive person. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not sure after this show, your, your stand-up comedy <laughs> will, will sell very well. Yeah, I know. Don't, don't I take haven't this performed as an example. Yet. <laughs> well, we'll talk, we'll keep that in suspense, yeah? Okay. We'll, we'll see how, how good you are, and Nora as well. We have some surprises <laughs> in store. But that is the end of the first part of our special Spring Festival uh, series on stand-up comedy in China, and my guests have been Yu Fu, Alex Shi, and Donnie Fan, and Nora Young in Shanghai. Yeah. You've been watching the first part of a special series on The Point with me, Liu Xin, on stand-up comedies here in China. We've got much more exciting things, including embarrassing moments from me, coming up in the next episode, so stay with us on CGTN. <laughs>